hello friends in the previous video of this plant physiology we are discussed the mineral uh, elements that's a mineral nutritions so usually what we have the essential and the non essential nutrient and uh, that continue with the essential elements of the macro and the micro nutrient and these uh, macro and micronutrient are very required for the plant especially the npk so they required for the plant proper functioning so when uh, this my major um, elements are the minor element that may be macro or micro element so when they have the deficiency what will happens we have to look it in this uh, class so just uh, look at the concept of these uh, micro elements so when it will be in uh, required in a less quantities or the essential elements are not get in a proper quantity what happens for example nitrogen potash manganese iron uh, molybdenum or zinc they required uh, in a proper quantity but if did not get in proper quantity what happens chlorosis will occur that means the chlorophyll pigment is not developed properly and it causes the disease called chlorosis and uh, next element that's a calcium magnesium potassium and copper they are also required in a proper quantity if it is lost then the deficiency is called as necrosis so like that the boron potassium magnesium calcium are required for the plant in a proper growth especially nitrogen involved in a skeleton development of the plant so if they required uh, in a not quantity not get in a proper quantity so what happens the plant started to stented growth that means the growth will be highly condensed and the nodal and the internal organ will be highly compressed especially the boron and the molybdenum what happens premature fall of the leaves and the buds so earlier i told in arecanut if the boron is not available pre falling of the fruit will also occurs in case of the arecanut next is nitrogen potash sulfur and molybdenum so if it is not required in a proper quantity what happens during the cell division the inhibition will occur again the internodal and the nodal region will not properly develop and also you will not get the proper maturation of the plant and in nitrogen deficiency and sulfur deficiency also leading to the delay in flowering that may postpone the flowering of the plant especially in floriculture crops uh, these elements are required in a proper quantity otherwise what happens so the plant flower will be not taken in a proper season and it will be uh, not grow properly the how actually the mechanism in not in the absorption of these elements so due to the apoplastic mode that's a passive role uh, that will help for the um, mineral to absorb in a plant like that the simplest mechanism especially the active role required for the energy that's the inward and the outward movement inward is called influx and the outward momentum of this nutrient is called uh, efflux and totally this is referred as a flux f l u x the momentum of ion in the plant is referred as a flux so usually especially these uh, elements are in a phenomena called translocation of the solute there actually the mineral nutrition will be uh, translocation will be takes place through the xylem so xylem saps are involved in this process and especially the radio isotopes that is uh, used for the uh, estimation of this translocation of the solute and in the plant material especially in case of the plant the uh, major essential elements are occurs in the soil and this soil is refer as a reservoir of the essential elements so the from this soil so usually the plant will absorb all type of element that may be essential or non essential in the essential that may be micro or the macro elements so deficiency of these elements will cause various diseases there may be a simple another one concept will be there that is called as a hydrophonics what is a hydrophonic hydrophonic is nothing but the 
growth of the plant in the artificial uh, media that's especially providing the artificial mineral and nutrient for the growth of the plants especially in the Iran uh, what happens so usually the uh, vegetable crops will grow in the artificial media provided with the artificial light and the mineral condition that is called as a hydro hydro means water phonics means to uh, in a proper artificial quantity providing just like hanging the plant and provide the water to that uh, plant uh, it may in a form of nutrient and the element just like um, complete whatever the elements and the nutrient required uh, they will support it with the help of the uh, water so that is usually the concept has developed for the hydrophonics especially these hydrophonics used in the uh, dry regions especially why because in a dry region what happens they require the uh, water quality in large scale and usually the scarcity of the water may uh, cause the over transpiration and death of the plant or the some vegetables and the crops so avoid these uh, problems these hydrophonics was introduced and especially these will be applicable to the drought uh, areas and also the dry condition and salinity condition areas and also the scarcity of the water to overcome the plant so all these uh, problems will be solved with the help of the hydrophonic system of plant growth and development so in the hydrophonic system so usually the artificially provide the uh, mineral and nutrient through the water okay just like uh, put a take a bowl and put the water mineral and nutrient in that and if you pour the seeds and the seeds started to germinate and growth in particular pot and easily you can harvest those plants especially in the forest that is that's a potato or even your uh, various vegetable leafy vegetable crops will grow in a hydrophonic solutions so even so you can very easily just like a transparent uh, uh, root and shoot system develop occurs in this uh, hydrophonic solution so for the more study so you can refer some uh, recent textbook will be there on the hydrophonic especially in case of the some uh, plant physiology warma and agarwal book and that's warma and warma so in that they have mentioned this hydrophonic concept about the growth and development of the plant how this is actually in a hydrophonic system what happens artificially provide the micro and macronutrient in a required quantity in maintaining the proper balancing so this is how actually we are discuss the mineral nutrients for the growth especially essential elements these essential element divided into a macro and micronutrient and these macro and micronutrient will will involved in the function of the plant proper functioning and growth of the plant and deficiency of these elements they may causes the diseases that is and maybe a chlorosis necrosis proper in development of the growth and tissues and uh, premature falling of the flower fruit and the leaves will occurs so that may be npk or maybe zinc magnesium or boron so like that all will necessary for the proper growth and development of the plants so that you will study in the in this chapter i hope you will uh, get the concept so if you have any doubts so you can clarify with the uh, next uh, disc class uh, discussion we will conduct in the google meet so i hope you will get the concept about this mineral nutrition for the proper growth and development of the plant yes i hope you will understand the concept mineral nutrition